It's 2008, MPH is back in South Africa, and this isn't just a press conference for Overdrive, this is a religious experience. It was like a zoo in there trying to get an interview. But while Jeremy was a bit preoccupied, we grabbed a moment with Richard Hammond. Yeah, right. Okay, sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, good to have you back. Just for a story. How does it feel being sort of Clark's and Diane? I wouldn't put it that way, but how's it, how's it like um, post, post the book and everything else? Oh, we're getting past that now. I mean, Brooke, I told my story, my wife told her story, and we poured it all out. So that we've said, right, that's why I think that's how we felt. That's how it affected us. Draw a line, move on. So coming back here this year, for me, it's just it's nice to come back and just fix yeah. it, get on with life. And, and why, South Af- why South Africa? I mean, um, because people here get it. They get us, they get what we do. There's no, it's weird, there's no translation in it. I don't mean the language, I mean the actual spirit yes, of what yeah, we do. Yeah. At the moment, we, just the fooling around that we do, the stupid ideas we have, our ambition, the fact that it goes wrong, the fact that we try big stuff, and always, people here get it. It's, yeah. it's just, there's not yeah. many places in the world we can go as easy as this, yeah. where you get off the plane. Now, it's even to the point where there's no jet lag when you come. So you fly yes. here, it's a 10-hour flight, you get off the plane, barely any time difference, yeah. you just you yeah. walk in here, everybody gets what we're doing, what we're about, they come and see MPH, they have to stand us, it's great, it's yeah. for life. As, you, as you've probably gathered, we're a huge fans, uh, and to be honest, we're, we're trying to get your guys' job done here, so any, any advice? Uh, how did I get my job in the UK? I read in your book, it was hilarious, sitting in your old Porsche. I was a journalist for many, many years, and eventually, yeah, there's a lot of that, you can't deny yeah. But as soon as I met the team, five yeah. years ago, ten, ten yeah. series ago, I met Jeremy, I met Andrew Wilman, the editor, I met the researchers, and I just thought, these are my kind of guys. So get the right people together. And if you're getting a show like that up and running at half, the one thing that can't be forgotten is we're not a random bunch of guys put together because at half we love cars, we love not just the metal, which you know, I build cars in the spare time. I mean, yes. Actually, we love what cars say about you. It was when cars and people come together, that's yeah. where the interest is. Car culture, yeah. yeah precisely. And we're mad for them, yeah. But it's what cars um, say about you, it's what the cost is, where they fit in, it's yeah. all of that, that's what we love. Can, can, I, can I set you a bit of homework, maybe ask you a huge favour? Try and get hold of an episode of a local motoring program called yes. Car Talk or something like that. They are absolutely horrendous. And, and that's what we're trying to do, we're trying to ruin the It's a hard thing. And, um, yeah, and, um, it's, it's a hard subject to make programmes about, because yeah. um, you can get caught up with we're not a buying guy anymore. Yeah. It's about the fact that cars affect us all, whether you drive or not, frankly. Because if you only come into contact with them occasionally when we, we have meals on wheels in the UK, when yeah. all the folk are trying to make their own food, food arrives in your car. So yeah. if you never drive one yourself, yeah. they impact on your life. Yeah. So everybody has an opinion on cars for that reason. So that's why it's, it's easy as a journalist to look at it as a subject, but hard to get it right. Yeah. Yeah. No, we, um, we really, really are, are hugely admirable of what you guys are doing. It's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here's what you need to do as well. Yeah. The biggest compliments we ever get thrown at us in top of it. One, when people say it's just like me and my mates in the pub, and we can go and do it for real. Yeah. So, when we decided, as we did for the last series, to try and turn cars into boats and drive them across the English Channel to France, or drive across <laughs> Botswana in cars with all for a few quid, we can actually go and do it. Yeah. The other thing is that. You need a sense that actually, even if the cameras weren't there, we can do it. Yeah. It's just the cameras are rolling. Yeah. No, that's, that's exactly it. Yes. And I think, and I think that's why uh, you know you guys sit in a press conference like this, and it's not like some celebrity or some actor who you see portrays yeah. someone. You guys are who you are on yeah. TV. Well, the other, that's yeah. the other thing is if you go and put on a persona on television. Then you've got, you've got to act. And yeah. you go, well, that's not awesome. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, It's easy just to be yourself. And then when you're on telly, you just be with you. And, and James, you can't persuade him to come out here. He will. He will. Really well. I think he was caught up this year. He couldn't. But he will. Okay. We'll okay. Excellent. Excellent. It'll be good to see you. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 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 The little legend was exactly how you see him on TV, happy to chat away about his recent trip to Botswana. Gavin was happy to lend a hand. And then they got whisked away for some cheesy press photos.